Hi, Ted. How are you? Hey, I'm just great. All is well. I see a smiling face. Uh, we got you well, up early this morning. I'm glad you're here. It's always great to have you. And I get to interview you today because I need to know more about what you're doing. Okay. You're kind of in an unusual business. Uh, and I've known you for decades, actually, but never really honed in on your business, although I've wanted to. Describe your business. I mean, you get great returns for your clients, your students. And uh, tell, tell me, overview it for me. Okay. All right. Well, this is a little niche business. And the niche business is all about real estate, which a lot of your clients and mine know about. And it's uh, the tax defaulted side of it. In other words, it's not traditional real estate, but traditional real estate has some problems. So what do they have? They have people that don't pay their tax. And so if people don't pay the tax, well, guess what? The local government, they, they take their orders from the legislature and the legislature says, wait a minute, we're going to slap your hand. If you don't pay tax, well, you, we're going to confiscate your house. Or in some cases, they're very, very benevolent, like here in Florida and a place like Arizona, and they have tax lien certificates. So I teach people how to buy tax lien certificates. I'll tell you about those rates a little bit. And I teach them how to buy tax to fall the property. So I've been doing that for the last 30 years, and it's been a great business. And I have clients that make $100,000 a year easily, but we usually teach them how to buy defaulted property and make twenty five dollars to $50,000. So that's kind of a summary of the business. I, I know that you've done really well. Uh, explain to me more what a tax lien certificate is. I, I, I need to know more. Okay. All right, good. Well, first of all, tax lien certificate is very simple. I'm going to hold one up so people can see it in front of my face. This is a tax lien certificate. It's just a simple piece of paper, and it's issued by a local county. So here's what happens. All the counties in the United States, if you don't pay taxes, they're going to do something about it. There's going to be a consequence. So the consequence is they could confiscate the property and resell it. But the ones that sell tax lien certificates are about half counties. Now, those counties, what they do, if the person or the property owner doesn't pay their tax, they issue a tax lien certificate. In other words, the county puts the property owner in default and they issue this certificate. Now, those people can stay in the property. They don't kick them out of the property, but they now owe an additional tax. So it's like a levy against the property. But the people have in Florida two years to pay, Arizona three years. So about half of the states sell these tax lien certificates. Well, why am I telling you about it? Well, I'm telling you because what you'd like to do and your clients definitely want to do is you want to raise your hand and buy these certificates. Because the interest rates on these certificates, they're kind of like a bond would be, the interest rate could be 16%, 18 24 all the way up to 36%. And you don't get any money from Ted Thomas. You get That's defined county. by the county, right? Right. So you invest with the county to buy it, and you get your money back from the county. What's the difference between a tax lien certificate and a tax default property? Okay, very good. All the properties have gone into default. But in half of the states, they don't confiscate the property. They just let the people stay in it, and they issue this lien against the property, this tax lien certificate. So half the states do that. Now, the other states, so let's take New York or California or Utah, what they will do if the property owner doesn't pay, the local county will confiscate. They'll seize the property. They'll push the people off, and they'll take the property away from them. And then the county then sells the property so they can pay those taxes. They sell so they can get the revenue to pay the county employees. Okay, well, I'm schizophrenic. Ted just alluded to it. I have a house in Utah and a house in Florida. So when I'm in Florida, I go to the county and I, uh, I, I how do, can okay, I do this online? What do you do? Okay, what you do is, first of all, tax lien certificates are issued at the local county level. So there's going to be at least 1,500 counties that are going to issue these. Now, it doesn't matter where you live anymore or, or, or any of that, because you can do this all online. So we can pick out any county in the United States, and we can buy tax liens or tax deeds throughout the United States. So you can sit in Utah and buy tax liens in Florida, or you can sit in Florida and buy tax defaulted property in Utah. Utah sells the deed. That means that people didn't pay their tax, and the county confiscates the property, and they sell it to the highest bidder. So wow. some states are tax liens, some states are, are uh, default property then. Right. So half it's about half and half. About There's a little over 3,000 counties in the United States, and about half of them, uh, approximately now, 
Half of them will sell tax lien certificates where you can just, you just get a certificate. You don't own the property. You don't go on the property. You have no right to the property. All you did is buy like a government certificate. All right. When the people come in and pay and 97% will pay, they'll come in and pay. When they pay, when the money comes in, then the county calls you and says, send that certificate back. So we send it back and then they send you a check. Actually, they do it much faster than that. They let you know on your, your, uh, your cell phone, your smartphone because they put the money right in your bank account. Okay, so I know I've got a few students that are doing this. In fact, I know I've got students that I introduced to you years ago that are still doing it. Sure. Uh, how complicated is it? I, I, how much time does it take? I don't have a lot of time. No, that's a problem. People don't have time. This takes, uh, if you took four hours a month to do this, that would be a lot. People work uh, in this business uh, they don't they don't work 10 hours a month. I mean, the, 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 the auction is always scheduled. And if it's a scheduled auction that's online, you can go to, uh, all day long and go to the auction to buy, to buy certificates. You're just, you're just bidding interest rates on certificates. And if you're buying property, it's a little more complex than that because what you want to do with the property is, of course, you want to look at it. You want to have boots on the ground. I mean, you wouldn't marry the woman without looking at her. Well, certainly don't buy real estate unless you looked at it. So you'd want to look at it if you bought real estate. So you can do you can do both business. You can do tax liens or tax deeds. So do I make more? How, how much money can I make? Do I make more in tax liens, certificates, or the default property? Oh no! no how no, how no. much? How much could I expect? Maybe give give me a conservative, okay? All right. So first of all, if you are buying tax lien certificates, you're basically buying a government issued certificate, so it's predictable, certain, and secure. This is perfect for little ladies or guys like me with the white hair and so on. All right. You, you wouldn't have any trouble telling your grandmother to do this. Why? Because you're, she's going to invest with the government. She's going to get a check back from the government. All right. So tax and certificates are super safe investment. Okay. Now, I can't guarantee it. The county's not going to guarantee it. But most of the certificates will pay off. If you don't get paid on a tax certificate, you get the property. If you don't get paid, you get the property without a mortgage or a trustee loan. All right, so that's one business. The other business, if you want to buy a property, well, uh, they're going to have, uh, depending upon the county, they could have a small county, small population. They'd have dozens or maybe even hundreds of properties. A large population county will have hundreds of properties. They will give you a long list. Okay, we can show them the list before we're done. Okay, pick out the property you want, and then you check it out. And the properties will start the bidding, start the bidding at the back taxes, which might be, five or 10 cents on the dollar. So the big money is made in property. So you want to be an entrepreneur buying property, that's tax deeds. You want to be a conservative investor on the other side, then you want to buy tax lien certificate. There's going to be plenty for everybody. Just in the state of Florida, they'll have 1 million tax certificates every year. 1 million people didn't pay the tax. So how much money do I have to have to play the game? Okay, well, if you're buying a tax certificate, I could say, well, you could get in the business for $500. Forget all. You got $500 invested, you made 20%. Make 20% of that's not enough money. So it depends upon you. If you have an IRA with five or $10,000, you can do that. You might so I can, do it with, I, I can do it with an IRA? You can do all this in an IRA or a Roth IRA or a pension plan, every bit of it. Matter of fact, the first thing the county will ask you, do you want to put it in your account? Or do you want to put it in your IRA account? First question out of their mouth. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you want to do that. So, so tax lien certificates earn an interest rate. So the interest rate, the lowest I've ever seen is 8%, but most of them are 16, 18, 24%. All right, when you buy real estate, now you might get a $100,000 value, tax assessed value, you might get it for $20,000. So all the margin between that and the tax assessed value is yours. So that, that's a big money business. You, you, we teach you to, how to do that and make twenty-five dollars to $50,000 on one deal. One so deal. I, I, I have to pay for the $20,000, but I can turn around next week and sell it cheapy on the market for eighty dollars and, and still make... Well, that's it. what we do. We teach you to buy it low, say buy it at $0.20 cents on the dollar and sell it for $0.50 or $0.60 cents on the dollar. Don't fix it up. Don't get in that business. I mean, I'm not in the... I'm not a property flipper. I'm not a fixer upper guy. I don't want to go out there and get paint in my hair and break my fingernails and all that. The, I Ted, want to buy Ted, it low and sell it low. This, no, the, this goes totally against my investment theory. 
I always buy high and sell low. It works every time for me. It does. And and, and that's what it takes to be a good investor. You get to lose your proverbial butt, and then you finally take some lessons and learn how, right? Okay. So this is now, this is me, pretty, you're not alone. I've done that. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty safe then, right? Uh, well, listen, I can't guarantee things that would be against the law, but it's the safest investment in America today. Why? If you're buying a tax certificate, you can't invest with Ted Thomas. You're going to invest your money directly with the government. And when that certificate pays off, 97 percent of them will, then you're going to get your money back that you invested, capital return and that high interest rate. And there's no, plenty to buy. I'll show you later. You just said 97 percent of them are going to pay the back tax. If 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 they didn't pay the tax in the first place, uh, what makes them think they're going to pay off the certificate? Well, great question. Thanks for asking me, because if they don't pay you, you get the property without a trust deed and without a mortgage. So it's free and clear. Free and clear. Well, now it could be a municipal lien or a federal lien, but all the local liens are gone. So the mortgage, the, the mortgage is wiped out. Why, why doesn't the uh, mortgage company always step in and buy it? Well, now you're insisting the banks are smart. I'm not so sure about that. But as you know, and I'm not, I know I'm preaching to the choir, in order for the, anything to happen with the government, they always have to give due process. So due process, they send me a notice and say, Ted, you're late on your taxes. If you don't pay, we're going to issue a tax there. At the same time they send the notice to me, they send it to everybody on title. That means they're going to send the mortgage holder or the deed of trust holder. Any lien holder will know that that's all taking place. It's, so you're, it's not, you're, nothing hidden. You're going to do a full day tutorial on this, right? Actually, we do a, a full day to tell people all the steps about tax liens and deeds and all the steps on what they should do and how they should do it. And then we give them examples. It takes when, all is, day. when is that? The next one is in October and it's on a Saturday. It's a virtual workshop where they can sit on their rusty, dusty at home, eat sandwiches, drink coffee, whatever to do. And we started in the morning and it goes all the way to six at night. Now, I'm a businessman. I don't do anything free. It costs $47.50. That way we make sure that people just want looky-loose. They don't come. It costs $47. If you didn't like it at the end of it, just call us up or send us a note. We'll give you money back. But we charge $47 for people to come to that event. So basically, just to make sure they're serious about the price of tea. Yeah, and this year's customer. We'll get, um, we'll have 120 to 160 cool. people at every class. So it's October 22nd and it's 47 bucks. Right. And it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. And what we'll do is we'll show them when we finish, we'll put it below us. When we finish, there'll be a registration form. But we're going to do two or three of these videos so they get a lot more education. So this is video number one. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a couple of these and kind of give them an overview, let right. people make their decision. And, and then I can, I can show them some examples because I think you'd like to see, for example, let me just have, end this video with an example. There's a couple in Phoenix, Arizona. They raised their hand. They bought a certificate. But before they did that, I have a rule and you don't have to follow my rules, but I say, if you're going to buy something, go get it. So what they did before they bought it, they're just going to buy a tax lien certificate. They were going to invest $11,000, 11000 So they drove out and they looked at it. It turned out to be a condo on a lake in, right in the middle of Phoenix. So they bought it for 11000 All right, now people are supposed to pay tax every year, but the people didn't pay. Second year, didn't pay the third year. So they said, all right, you didn't pay. So the county says, if you didn't pay the tax, then they allowed the property to be transferred to the per person that has a certificate. Now, you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to let you see the video. These people bought that condo for $11,000, and then they turned around and resold it for $169,000. No, it was $180,000. They made $160,000. Let's just watch this video before we finish. This is life-changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of 
getting dressed in the morning and and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not It's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Okay, when you saw okay. the video, we'll be back with another video in All right. just a day or two. It'll be good to talk to you again. Thanks, Ted.